Okay, so for this one, I'm going to work this one with without assuming the 100 grams, and this one will work with assuming the 100 grams. So you can decide for sure which one you like. And this one takes it a step further, so you're going to want to, you know, kind of be thinking in your head how you'll do this one. This makes sure that you're actually understanding the concepts here. So I'm going to take 31% of HCl and know that my um, mass formula, so my mass over mass, this is HCl over solution, that value times 100% is equal to my 31.0%. And so I'm going to divide both sides by 100. So that tells me that I have 0.31% grams of HCl for every one gram of solution. And I'm not going to forget that 1 minus 0 0.31 is going to give me 0 0.69. So I can break that up into the two parts. So I'm going to say 0 0.31 grams of HCl. And then in 36.46 grams of HCl, I have one mole of HCl. Now my top unit is taken care of. And then I'm going to do my bottom unit. And so I still have my 0.31 grams of HCl. I have my 0 0.69 grams of water. And I just have to get those into moles. So 36, 46 grams of HCl in one mole. And then over here, I have that one that's 18.02 grams of water in one mole. So I run my calculator over, and I'm pretty tempted to just re um, do that question that problem right there. And then instead of the divided by uh, the times, I'm just going to do divided by because that's and I'm not going to use the um, times 100%. So that tells me that my mole fraction is 0 0.063 with the two sig figs. And it's unitless because it's a mole fraction. Oh, actually, I can't do that. I need to also change my 88. So hopefully you saw that. So that did change. So you do want to be careful. <laughs> I was trying to move it on through. <laughs> there we go. That's better. 0 0.7 nine zero point zero seven nine